all right, you can, I'll let you know what's going on in this video. Of course, there's going to be this threat narrative that demonizes men, and you can guess what it's going to be about. Let's see. This is Yune and her mum Chia. Yune's 11. She likes rabbits, coloring books, and Ariana Grande. Tonight, she's on her way to a concert, and she doesn't need a ticket because she's the star. Welcome to one of Japan's strangest subcultures, the junior idols and their fans, almost all of whom are middle-aged men. There you go. This is what this problem is. <laughs> this is you can see the threat narrative coming. They're almost all middle-aged men. So this is bad. And as you can see, there's someone, Nikita Heredia, with a cute female avatar. <laughs> no irony. So most of the audience there are middle aged men. Red flag straight away. Holy shit. Really? You see, the fact that these guys are all one age category destroys this idea of what they're trying to push. They're trying to push that these guys are a bunch of pedophiles. But if they were. They wouldn't all be middle-aged, would they? I mean, you would see, if it was just a pedo fest, you would see the age range from the teens all the right way up to old age, but you don't. So something else is going on here. I'll, sh I'll prove you, what I'm about to show you will prove what I'm talking about. This is the bright lights of Hachioji. Uh -huh. We're going to what's called a maid cafe. What do we say when we go in? They're places where men pay to be waited on by young women. Dressed as French maids. <laughs> yeah, you see, dressed as French maids. You know, that's bad. I guess this guy is against hooters in America then, is he? <laughs> what is going on in here? No, this is a psychologist he's talking to, I believe. Okay. We don't need the sound. Well, he's just... Let's say we'll have it on the light. <laughs> oh. 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 She, she draw your face. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> the professor says it's one of a number of industries that have evolved to satisfy the emotional needs of lonely men. There, you just put it. It's the emotional needs, not sexual. <laughs> These girls are no different than geishas of the past. Now, this disgusting person, if he did a documentary on geisha, would he be spitting on it on the idea and saying these men didn't deserve that geisha when women around of course not oh uh, i wish i looked like that the professor calls this virtual love their actual life and family seems false why does this, why does their actual family seem false you know, they don't seem false, they are false. Because Japanese men are chosen, just like everywhere else in the world, for their ability to provide. They're not there because they themselves are a human being or a person. And so they get that sense and they look for it elsewhere. <laughs> They come here, they feel more like themselves. What, are these, what does he mean by more like themselves? Yeah, they feel like a human being. Because even though this is all fake, the girls don't really care about them, they're getting paid, they still go out of their way to make them feel good. To like feel like human beings that are worthwhile. Worthy of care. Oh, oh, by the way, and their families don't. He estimates that 25% of Japanese people under 40 will never get married. You know, you, this is, I'm going to correct it. 
when he says Japanese people, he means that the women don't want to get married. These guys, these lonely guys, they would get married in a heartbeat. They, they would desperately, this guy would desperately find some woman to validate his existence and revolve his life around. So when 25% of these people don't get married, it's because the women don't want to get married. You guys who go on about cat ladies, when you see a cat woman, it's not because she couldn't get a guy. It's because she likes cats. You're going to have to come to terms with this. Does this help us understand why there are young female idols who are being followed by an army of middle-aged male fans? Sister, a mother, or a lover. In this case, idols. It's the daughter. There you go. This guy just told you everything. No. This is what's going on. And you know something? I didn't even need this professor to tell me this because I know what's going on. I could see it instantly. These guys, these single men, because they're single, they don't have, there's not huge families in Japan. Someone like me. I at least have a big clan that I can go around to and see all ages of both sexes. These guys are completely isolated. And this is what it is, what's going on that because they're not getting married because the women don't want to be, uh, these guys are missing out on the typical stages. When a guy's 20, he gets the girlfriend. When he's 30, he gets married. And when he's 40, he has children, right? So these guys have missed all that. They're at the stage that they don't want to chase the girlfriend. They don't want the wife. I mean, they've been through that and they've been chasing the wife. That's why they're single. They're not, they didn't earn high enough status to bribe these ultra women into their lives. So now they want the daughter. And so that's what they're doing. They're going, Yune is a surrogate daughter. That's what she is to them. Okay, so here's this low life going to their home. Konnichiwa, how are you? Nice to see you. Tonight, Yune's about to broadcast live to hundreds of her fans. Many of them are middle-aged men. Her mum, Chia. That should say something to her. She's like, she doesn't have the skill and talent to attract little girls. They're not interested in seeing her. This is the audience. They want that they have to work with. And her mom isn't working a job, is she? So she's willing to have her daughter dance in front of these guys and sing. And that, there's nothing wrong with that. She's singing, there's nothing wrong with that. The guys are just watching and they're paying their money. But here's another thing. Where's the husband? If you watch this documentary, and I'll put it in into the description box, you'll see there's no father here. This is a young woman. Do you think he's dead? No, but it is. He's, she, she's kicked him out of her life, just like they do here in the West. And he may or may not be paying child support. We never get that because this loser, this guy who's talking to her, doesn't care about him. They don't care what his opinion is. They don't care about him. But So she might be getting child support on top of her daughter giving her money. So... This woman knows exactly what she, she's gaining from all this. Is anyone going to say anything about this woman? In the comment section, yes, I've seen people call her out. But the thing is, they only called her out because the audience was middle-aged men, which is not in her control, actually. She didn't make middle-aged men come and watch her daughter. So if this woman was pimping her daughter out to a young, mixed audience of you know, teenage girls and boys, no one would have a problem with that. They still wouldn't have any problem. And here's something else. This disgusting cretin talking to her, as Westerner, he's probably gained enough status to get the wife into his life. And he might have children. So he may have, have a daughter. So all his needs are being met. But because these Japanese men didn't uh, rise to the occasion. They didn't become uh, the, the one guy in a hundred that's good enough for these women. He, his opinion 
would have to be, we got to get stop these guys from enjoying themselves. They're losers. They should be disposed of. And what's the, this threat narrative, what's it going to lead to? If he had his way, these guys would be shut down. They would not be allowed to have that surrogate daughter. They would suffer. That's what low lives like this are about. Other men have to suffer. Yet he, he can't go all the way and say it. He expose himself. Because he also can't say, hey, mom, you can't use these guys. Because he still wants these guys to be used and give their money to this woman. This is a low life. This is as low as men get. We can't show you everything we'd like because it's a private event. We can only film those fans who are willing to be filmed. And that's not many of them. You know why you can't film people? You, need to to perform have you know why these guys were smart? They could see exactly what this clown was about. They're here to see their surrogate daughter and get some kind of emotional need filled. And this scumbag is going to demonize them. So most of the guys are smart enough not to deal with this jerk. And you know, they're good people, so of course they're not going to do anything but mind their business. But if I was there, <laughs> this guy would be in trouble because I'd be inciting them. I'd be saying, this guy's here to take innocent people and demonize them. Time, Yune takes the stage. <laughs> what a scumbag. Sadly enough, he's going to find a couple of guys who, of course, don't realize how badly the, he's going to try and make them look. <laughs> they also pay to have their pictures taken with you, Nate. Tell, what, is, what is it that you love about you, Nate? Oh, yes. Maybe that the her skill is crazy high. And you, because, of course, when I see, you know, the first yeah. assumption, maybe it's maybe it's my problem. I see an older man looking at an 11-year-old state. I, I assume that man is having an entertaining a sex. Why? Why would that be the assumption? You know, if this was a bunch of middle-aged women, would they assume something that disgusting and trash? No. Women have to prove that they're bad people. And men should be in the same position. They should have to prove that they're bad people. There's no reason to make any assumptions about these guys. It's your fantasy about the child. We know that, but uh, it's a little bit difficult to justify. No, it isn't. No, no, it's not easy to justify. You guys are here to see this little girl, and she makes you feel good because she's a surrogate daughter. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Why do you think adults that are childless tend to adopt if they can? But what is the perception of the scene in Japan more broadly? This kind of culture is a little bit growing and booming in Japan, but still... This culture is growing and booming in Japan. Tell me everyone did. <laughs> Are pedophiles growing in numbers? <laughs> did someone put something in the water? No. What's happening is men are being deselected. They don't have big families. They have no social circles. They go and work and then go home and crash, and that's their lives. And so, of course, the numbers of that is increasing, and that's what's causing this. Still, most of the Japanese think it's not a good culture. Uh, Many Japanese think this is something to do with ki with pornography and yeah, 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 yes. But what is it really to do with? What, how, what would you say to those people? Ah, uh, yes, it's a difficult question, but uh, we enjoy her performance in a gentleman's way. So no pressure, no harassment, but we support her play and what's say her they are growing up. Yeah. Hi. 
This is Koji, the 38-year-old fan who chatted with Yune on the live stream. No. There's the other sucker who's going to be in trouble. He let this, this, this cretin film him. No. If you watch this documentary, I call it documentary, he, this guy is probably not a pedo, but he is an obsessive man. And I worry for him for that reason, because he doesn't seem to have a lot of self-awareness. So you can become an obsessive fan and still not be a pedophile. <laughs> they, don't, they don't coincide. But what it is, this guy's probably becoming obsessive because when he's done taking pictures of his little girl, he's going to go home and he's going to be alone again. And so this girl is the only outlet he's got. And a load of 50 year old men with big cameras <laughs> going <laughs> and the viewers will just think, well, we know what's going on here. These men are getting off on seeing this child dance. No, they don't know. Someone taking a picture of someone just means taking a picture of them. That's it. They, we already know why these guys are here. This guy already knows why these guys are here. So why is he putting this threat narrative? Because that's what people do. They, these scumbags want to demonize men. Yeah, and that's it. You can't judge if an audience is watching in a sexual way. So you don't assume they are. <laughs> this guy's, he wants this threat narrative so bad, but this guy is just destroying it. <laughs> Someone in the room tries to touch her, they'll probably stop her, but no one probably ever has. Now back to this poor sap, who still doesn't realize he shouldn't be talking to this scumbag. Is it, is it the same in Japan? Mom. ま、多分気持ち悪いとか。そういう感じでは見られてるとは思います。多分これはどこ行っても同じだと思うんで。you don't know why you don't see any women at the concert, not because they are pedophiles yeah, out there. There are all kinds of female pedophiles. But guess what? They have options this guy doesn't have. People trust women with children. So these, in, you know, these single women, if they want to go to the neighbors and play with their children or go to their relatives and deal with children there, get their need filled that way, they're allowed. They've got that option. These guys do not have this option. People don't want men near children. And it goes beyond this stupid pedophile bullshit. They just don't want men to have that right, period. What do you think it is that draws them to these artists? Personally, I think the majority of them are single, of course, with no children. See, he just bolstered everything that's been said in this video. And this guy is still talking about it. This guy is, he's being demonized and he's not self-aware enough or aware enough, period, to realize that's what's going on to him. This is the fate of the average guy in the street. So they feel like they're watching their own daughter grow up. There he is. It's a surrogate daughter. I have to pound this through in this video. But do some of them look at these children and feel attracted to them? So what? What is the conclusion? Why, why won't this guy come to the conclusion? In other words, this guy, if he had this way, wouldn't allow this guy near these girls, even if he means no harm. That's what he's, the conclusion he's going to come to. Because they use a threat narrative that there might be one guy in a hundred out there to, to demonize and stop all other men. The other 99 have to suffer. 
That's what this is about. It's making sure that men do not have the rights. He said, to be honest, there were fans of unity like that. So he admits, like, there's pedophiles in the world. But what he's done is made the huge mistake of giving into this guy's frame of reference. Because if he, when he does, he's trying to, he thinks that people are going to look at him and see him as a good guy. And there's this odd pedophile. They don't. They're going to look at him and lump them in him and all these other guys in with the odd bad apple that's what's going on and this guy has gone for it so in conclusion to this video i wish nothing but ill for this guy this guy on the right in case you haven't seen my little arrow going these people are lower than dirt this guy on our left hasn't done anything wrong. Matter of fact, he's done something right. He's going to do what he can. If, if people didn't want these middle-aged men going to these you know, girl concerts, they would rectify this, this, this you know, the, they would change things to make things better for men, but they don't. So I, what can I say? Things like this are going to grow. The industry is going to grow. Anyway, thank you everyone for listening. That's all we need to hear from this.